guys well hello guys welcome back to the channel today 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 i am in in wadi gam in petra in amman let's see wadi musa jordan so so let's do it Good morning guys welcome back to the channel and today is another day in Jordan and as I mentioned earlier I'm going to Petra right now so I'm in the cab and I'm a bit in a hurry to catch the bus to Petra and I will share you the the name of the company of of the bus company and how much does it cost in the you know in the link and in the description and everything I don't know where I'm going to go. So I have to take my cup. So guys, I have reached to Wadi Musa, aka Petra, and I'm heading to the side you know the the entrance of the Pet Petra uh, you say the monument and so I'm going to stay over here for one night and as I have two day Jordan pass for visiting Petra the site of Petra so I'm going to um, take a brief tour of Petra right now like I'm already late it's like 2 30 in the afternoon right now so I don't have that much time it closes at 6 uh, p.m. and it opens at 6 a.m. so tomorrow I'll spend entire day in uh, Petra and then in the evening I will take a bus ride to um, Wadigam and by evening I will reach Wadigam so that's the whole plan and Yes, I'm going to show you this uh, site and in order to, you know, share some information about these uh, ruins, I will share some uh, links of the documentaries and you can just enjoy that documentary and get the detailed knowledge about this, one of the wonder of the world. So if I share you some of the information like how you can come over here, plan your trip, then I would recommend you to come by bus from Amman. It leaves at uh, 6.30 from a place called Abdali in Amman. And it has one another stop as well. So from the second stop, it, it leaves at 7 in the morning. So it's just going to be the single bus coming to um, Petra. It costs uh, 10 jiggies, which is equivalent to like 10 pounds or, and it's it's quite affordable, what do you say? 
and it's quite affordable way to come to Petra rather than booking a tour or something unless and until you are traveling with a couple of friends or you have tag along with a couple of other friends from your hostel or somewhere and you can book a car and do you know tours around the Jordan which will be actually much more cheaper and uh, yeah there is a nice hostel called Nomad Hostel which is also there in Amman so it's a good place to stay as well good views and it's quite uh, close to the entrance of the Petra so you can just walk from your hostel to the entrance of the Petra So I'm walking down the what is it the the way to the treasury and from the entrance the distance to treasury is somewhere around like two kilometers or something so you just have to walk down this uh, what is it dusty road you can also get horses to ride up to the treasury or like you know all the way to the I would say monastery, yeah monastery is the, is the last part in Petra and there are some what is it buggies as well like those kind of buggies which you find in the airport you know so yes you can get that too but as the weather is nice it's sunny it's not hot for me at least so I've decided to walk a bit up to the treasury so this thing that you are seeing over here is called obelisk tomb because of this triangular structure on top of this cliff as you can see and it's a tomb and people used to bury their loved ones or like the dead ones over here in this kind of uh, what do you say rock tombs so basically Petra is surrounded by this kind of uh, tombs in the cliffs and in the in the middle of or what do you say the flat ground or bit between the cliffs used to be a city so it, it was like if uh, you see it on the map you will see that uh, the city was surrounded with the tombs whereas the people used to live in the center and it has got this triangular structure because it this area used to get influence from um, Asia and like other uh, part of this Arab world like Egypt and Syria so as they it used to be once uh, hustling and bustling you know uh, trading route back in those days so it has its influence from Egypt as well as India as well as other part of this Arab world you know Syria so basically this is the valley and <clears throat> as you can see this thing over here this kind of a, uh, a, a, a cut in the rock wait a second so yes as you can see this kind of uh, thing a cut in the rock used to be the water supply system back in those days so they used to direct the water from uh, what do you say the higher ground so or there was a spring I forgot the name uh, to the city of Petra with these sophisticated networks of what do you say pipelines
well hello guys today is my second uh, day in Petra so it's it's like 11 30 right now and I'm about to leave this place well uh, by five o'clock in the evening so roughly I have somewhere around like four and a half hours or something so yes I will show you the things uh, which are there to see after the treasury so I will see how far I can go today and try to show you as much as possible so after you cross uh, treasury you still just you know walking into this valley and into this canyon and then you see this kind of magnificent structure and these are basically tombs if I show you so you know these are basically the tombs and it is carved out of this cliffs you know and further down there there is um, an amphitheater which I will show you in some time so yes let's carry on So this was the basically inside of this one of the tomb over here and I just heard um, one of the guides uh, saying that each and every tomb used to belong uh, to particular family so like uh, there used to be one tomb for one family and it, it used to be like that and they used to make it bigger depending upon the size of the uh, family. So over here in the far distance you can see the theater and that theater is entirely cut out of this sandstone cliff so you know there's no bricks down there and over here there are some more tombs So I'm climbing this cliff as you can see over here I'm climbing this cliff and from that cliff you can see the theater as well as the royal tombs so So basically this is the view from the top of this cliff and over there as you can see like the trail just keeps on going further and it's more than like 10 kilometers or something that you can still hike in this canyon and see different things like there is one Byzantine church and a market and different other stuff as well but unfortunately i don't have that much time so i have to go back from here i have to make my way back to the entrance of uh, this place 
so yes it was a quite nice experience to see this uh, monument like one of the seven wonders of the world quite a big place to cover in two days so if you are coming over here make sure that you make it most out of this place and spend three days at least so how you can do it is like come on the first day and then spend two days entirely for Petra and then you can leave so that is what an ideal plan should be you know apart from that I, I will share all the details in the in the description uh, which could be helpful to you uh, while making a trip to Petra so the next stop will be Vatigam and I'll see you from Vatigam in the next um, vlog yeah cheers